Okay, question six. Uh, Magda's company has to pay off two debt payments. Okay, so 2000 each. The first um, debt payment is to be made on March 31st, 2019. And the second debt payment, um, April 30th. So it's the same year. The same year, so 2019. Um, Magda's company projects to have only 1500 that it will be able to pay off on March 31st and will have to pay off everything remaining on April 30th. If money is worth 5.5%, um, then what must the final payment on April 30th be to settle the whole debt? Okay, so um, in this case, okay, so let's draw... Okay, this time, I so thank goodness everything is in the same year. So that will be a little bit simpler. So this is 2019. And basically, we have March 31st, okay, and April 30th. Okay, so playing a role here. Now it's in 2019. Okay. Um, so we have... Uh, two debt payments, okay, that we are supposed to, so I'll put the debt, okay, so we're supposed to pay off 2,000 here, and we're supposed to pay off 2,000 here, but unfortunately, okay, so they're saying that we can only pay off this much, okay, on March 31st. So by looking at this, it's actually not a bad question. It won't be a lot to do because they're telling us that we want to find everything on April 30th. So all we're doing is we're going to be shifting over to April 30th, the remaining balance. And our remaining balance, well, okay, so minus the 1500 so our remaining balance is $500, okay? Now, if we do that, so let's shift that. So we're moving it into the future. So we have this. So, okay, so we have our 5.5%. Um, okay, so well... The number of days, I guess, we can calculate. Okay, so March so 31st. Okay, so March 31st. So that's 90. And then April 30th, so 120. Okay, so it's 30 um, days in between. So notice you have 120 minus 90 here. Okay, so that's nice. This was 120, 90. Okay, so it's 30 days in between. So this is great. So although it seems like it's a complicated question, um, it will not be. Okay, so let's calculate this. So it grows ever so slightly over. It's only 30 days and it's 5.5%. Okay, so it won't be um, that much. Okay, so I'll just double check okay, the calculation. Uh, yep. Okay, so that means, well... We still owe, okay, so this 2000 right? So our final payment, okay, is going to be the $2,000 that we owe on that day, plus, OK, 
Okay, so the this additional amount Okay, so when we add it up um, And that is actually it there isn't anything else we can do because our focal date was April 30th so if we had to settle this on a different date, okay, let's say if it was somewhere over here, uh, then that would have been a little bit more annoying because we would have to move this 2000 over to that focal date and then the 500 over to that focal date. It's still not bad, uh, but in this case, because focal date lines up with the payment, we never had to move that 2000. Okay, so that is it for this question. Okay, so thanks for watching.